hopefully it's uh hopefully the printer the 3d printer running in the background isn't too loud let's see ah uh, yeah okay we still need to implement scrolling i don't think it's going to be that difficult but we'll see um i still haven't like selected a quest yet but we are able to turn these on quite well We have a bug here though, so let's see if we can fix it. Um, so the bug comes from when we rapidly change this. So basically we go into A. Why isn't this resetting? What is this? This should be this should be forcing things to teleport to the bottom again. I think I know what's causing it. I think I know what's causing it. I think what's happening is that the quest spot teleporter is going off at the same time this one's going on. So basically, oh man, I think what I need to do is basically force this one to turn off. We well hold on. We have resort. We have this resort thing, and I believe this key. Yeah, this <clears throat> this is keyframing on resort. And then what's supposed to happen is one frame later, this teleports. And then this so the sort next. Ah oh, man, the the issue is these two teleporters are on the same time. I think that might not even be the issue though. Hmm. When I'm when I'm rapidly resorting. Well. why it's the b the red b okay so it's as if the hmm it's as if the a is already sorted i can you know what i mean I can add a delay to this. Let's make it point 0.1. Oh. Huh. <laughs> okay, uh, now it just doesn't work at all, which is interesting. A and B are teleporting at the exact same time. Huh. Hey ZT. Hey Frank. What's up, guys? So I'm curious. Can you guys hear the 3D printer in the background? It's kind of quiet right now, but it'll get loud sometimes. Well, relatively loud. So that broke it somehow. You hear the music of the game, perfect. It's, it's very quiet right now, actually. I can't wait to show you what it's printing. It, it'll be done 
It, it's supposed to be done in about 15 minutes, so we'll see. We'll see how accurate that is. This is really weird. Boom shaka laka cheered. X69. Boom sh ten boop. Hey boom. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's turning out pretty well. At least I hope it does. Boom. What are you redeeming? I, did you. <laughs> are you, uh. Oh boy, are you redeeming uh, stationers? I, I assume you just wrote cough, so I'm not sure what that means. Although I, I think I know. I don't know why the thing didn't go off though. You guys, so the printer's being pretty loud right now. Can you hear it? Did the thing go off and I just didn't notice? Well, boom, you gotta tell me. I don't know. It doesn't have to be stationers. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh my god, Keld! Keld is raiding with a party of 23. Dude, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. How's it going? Can you guys hear the raid music? Because I can't. <laughs> for some reason. You can. Okay. Well, that's good. Hold on. How was your stream, dude? What what did you uh what were you working on? I can hear the I can I just can't hear my OBS stuff. All right, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. What are we playing? All right, is this what you worked on? Uh should I save what I've done? No, well, I haven't really done much yet, so no. Let's check it out. Dream Flicks episode two. Okay, is this is this the thing like we're voting on or or is that something else? Hello. Hi, babe. Oh my god. So I know it's almost done. What the hell? Holy shit! Whoa, here I come. What? I want to see that intro again. Look at this. Wow. That is, that is, uh, that's, that's nice. That's a VCR tape right there. You know, when I was little, I had, like, all of the Land Before Times on VCR. Is that a dinosaur? Yeah. That's cool. Each Dream Flicks episode, <clears throat> episode, episode, oh my goodness. Each Dream Flicks episode equals a one-week asset jam and a one-week film jam. To participate, find the Dream Flicks collection for details. Wait, babe, does your um, little impy have a face on it? Yes, on the other side. Really? You should be able to see it. Um, okay, credits. Eject. Play all episode two submissions and upvote your favorites. What? Are you running your own jam, dude? Runtime, 18 minutes. Genre, science fiction. Characters, pigs. You're in the Location, credits. underwater. I'm in the credits? The Jones Random Earth's scene picker, thank a you. A time fan, too. Glad it helped. Yeah, I always used to cry when Littlefoot's mom got eaten by the freaking T-Rex in, like, the first movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God, there I am. I can skip through and do show. Okay, sh this is so cool. Enjoy the show. Up, oh, so up D pad is up vote. The year was 4044, and a great war was going on between the green hatters no. and the blue hatters. Blood was shed, lives were lost, families were destroyed. But then they dropped it. The PIG, <laughs> the super weapon that would end all wars. The explosion from that bomb would change the world forever. 
when we had awoken okay it's funny it's funny but i some look different from others. <laughs> i don't like that one. it's funny but i'm hoping the quality gets like better the other one. It's, it's funny i'm hoping the quality gets better though we'll see oh this is fun wow oh i like this one. i like the music not not only he, he's at this is really cool so here's my idea when i when I, when I force me to play dreams over the summer, and I get good enough to make a simple game. Are you actually going to play? This is so maybe. cool. I want to make um, an aquarium deck. I think that would be really cool. Like, you just put fish in it, you put some coral in it, and some seaweed, and you just watch your fish. That's Wait, my this idea. was really cool, but I had no idea what the story was. I, I don't know what... There was no narrative. Well, if there was a narrative, I I didn't get it. I need it's I need guidance. We're just not smart enough. I want a voice. Well, you you're not even listening. You just can't. Yeah, but I have a big brain. Is it too much to ask for me to have for there to be a good story and look good? Because the first one, the story was hilarious, but the wow. uh, the animations were lackluster. Okay, so far this is this is cool. I had a weird dream like two days ago about like this weird ocean creature. Hmm. I didn't like it. Was... I think I talked out loud too. Because I remember like I was me, but I was someone else in my dream. And then like I went underwater and I saw this weird ocean thing. Nice. And then I was like looking at it and I was like, what is that? And I'm pretty sure I said that out loud, like in real life. <laughs> nice. So. Are those sausages? <laughs> That's the. <laughs> Wait, he's literally driving a ship made of himself. That would be like if I was in like a meat a meat suit. No, you're. It's not made of pig. It just looks like it's made of pig. I, just got hit by a I don't know. It's I some, hope. Uh, what's that? What's that? Anime? Took you hours? Holy shit! I've only. This is the third one. What's that anime where? With I don't Eden? know. But I'm trying to like watch with this. With Eden, I, and he wears Attack on Titan. Yeah. And he like goes into his giant meat suit. This is what it reminds me. Oh boy. I might have to get creative if I want to get I out of this some up in here. Have a good sense of Wait, is this sausages. a this isn't voice, this is the Wait, is it? Or is this like Google talking? It sounded robotic. Maybe it was me. Alright, I'm out. Okay. <laughs> Look at her go. Me? No, my 3D printer. What? This is really cool. Bye. Bye. Open the pink bay doors. The <laughs> pink. Open the pink bay doors now. Do you read me now? I read Open the pay doors. Please pal. I'm sorry, Butch. Why is he a robot? Why is the pig a robot? This camera on? work is making me uncomfortable. Please pal. The anomaly. What, what is that? Okay, I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give this an upvote. I like it. One quack. Okay. Oh, was that it? I liked it. That was good. Hey guys, Squealin Gamer here. And in this video <laughs> series, I'm going to show you how to speedrun Hambone World's hit apocalyptic sci fi underwater mining and survival game, Homnautica. Okay, so I'm already past the first step, which is restarting until you get to the best of the uh, randomized initial spawn points, uh, which 
to be anywhere close to this <laughs> Look at the little rock pig rock. in the bottom so right. Resource collection run. We gotta move as efficiently as possible through this tunnel. Come back around. We gotta get hey, two of these blue mushrooms, three pieces of scrapple, and as many porkers as we can get our clothes out without going too far off of our route. Now, the porkers are a good food source when you're playing normal. Am I a cow? That's this awesome. Speed run that we're doing, this is really we just funny. wanna make this is sure amazing. we have at least two of them so that we can pull off the too fast, too fish strat. So there's a lot of pig iron in this area, which is great for the mid-game, and there's usually one or two O2 tanks as well. But since we're going to have infinite oxygen when we pull off our glitch, we don't need to Can worry we pull about off our glitch? However, if you're playing an ultra-hardcore mode, you might want to grab one just in case, because if you suffocate and die, your game will be deleted and you'll have to repurchase it from the beast before you can play it again. Well, if that happens to you, I've got good news. At the end of this video, there's an affiliate link that you can use oh for 20% off. This is, up this, is this is so good. That I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep going so I can see all of them. But I, it's so good, so good. Does anyone know what just happened? I I'm not really sure what just happened there. So is Ellie was that you, Zelly? I'm sorry I didn't watch the whole thing. I want to. I just want to get through all of these. I'll come back to it. I'll, I'll come back to it. I, I want to watch the. I want to watch the whole thing. It was very good. This, on the other hand, I'm really. I'm just not sure what's going on. Okay. As uh, I don't even. I'm. I don't even have words to describe what I was just watching. Um. Oh God. Okay. It's over. Wow. Uh. That was. That was really weird. Um, episode two. Oh, I, I just did that. Okay. Okay, I want to watch Zelly's again. No, yours. Yours was easily the best one. It was so. It was really funny. Cause like you clearly know about Subnautica. Hognautica, but uh. Hey guys, Squealing Gamer here, Squealing and in this video but series, it's so meta, I'm gonna show you like, how speed run Campbell it's, it's as if it's a, well obviously, it's a YouTube video, you, 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 you're making a fake YouTube video, okay, so I'm already past the first step, <laughs> really which is funny. restarting until you get to the last Alright, we're gonna watch this whole thing. Randomized initial spot I know, yeah, there's so many. ...would be anywhere close to this particular rock formation. So in this first resource collection run, we gotta move as efficiently as possible through this tunnel, come back around, 
And like, I have to turn my camera off so we can see the pig just like spaz. Now, the porkers are a good food source when you're playing normally, but in this hardcore speed run that we're doing, we just want to make sure we have at least two of them so that we can pull off the too fast, too fish. Uh, has Piece of Craft seen this so yet? There's a lot of pig iron in this area, which is great for the mid game, and there's usually one or two O2 tanks as well. But since we're going to have infinite oxygen when we pull off our glitch, we don't need to worry about those. However, if you're playing at ultra hardcore mode, you might want to grab one just in case because if you suffocate and die, your oh, game will be deleted minutes. and you'll have to repurchase it from the meat store before you can play it again. Well, if that happens to you, I've got good news. <laughs> in this video, there's an affiliate link that you can use for 20% off. Now, just up ahead is the Rainbow Coral Zone. That area is useless till we got our seasage built, and we haven't found any abalone shell yet to do that. And if we round the corner and get back to our submersible, it's right by the wreckage of the, spoiler alert, Pancetta Corp mining rig, which exploded in the cutscene that I skipped over. I had to watch that seven times a day just to get to the, the <laughs> correct spawn location, so I'm a little salty about that. Okay, now, I gotta be careful here, because I really don't want to aggro those farmer leviathans farmer there. But if we stay on this side of this kind of chalky white line of stone you see in the seabed, we should be okay. So I'm just gonna quietly swim over to our broken down submersible, which is where the Makinator is installed. That the Makinator? Will be used to craft our tools. Now, here's the really cool the thing you can do to shave off precious seconds on your run. Don't actually open this hatch. That hatch opening animation actually adds four seconds every time you go inside the submersible. But if you're just trying to make stuff, all you have to do is position yourself right, and you can actually clip through the wall, throw your mats right into the Makinator, and queue up the recipes you is need. Is that true? So what we're going to be building can you actually the do that? laser pickaxe and the Oh my the god, you've got the UI too. So I gotta move fast here to pull off the exploit. I gotta eat both of these fish before the tools are finished being made. Now, I'm gonna have increased movement speed as long as I keep our hunger level below 50%. Now, I've been talking to one of the developers on the pig board, and she couldn't tell me if this is gonna be patched out anytime soon, but she was able to explain how this particular glitch works. Uh. So, when you hit hunger above 50%, there's supposed to be a movement penalty. You'll be slowed down, and your hunger can never go below zero. If you eat too much, you just waste food. But if you do it while the Makinator is running, it will let you go negative. And there's some weird mathematical reason why it makes your speed go up. I guess it's something that multiplies Vote. I already did vote. Wait, are you talking to me? Or something? I don't know. I don't speak Algebraian. <laughs> so anyway, now that we can swim so fast, we can enter this part of the map before all the terrain finishes loading. And that gives us plenty of ways to clip through to this best spot here over the hot slap zone before much of anything. The pig, the pig disappeared. So we zip down here to this area that shouldn't even open up for storyline purposes until much later in the game. We're just going to pop inside here real quick to refill our oxygen game. I got you. Ignore the, this uh, error message here. This is actually good. It means we just broke the oxygen depletion function. And it won't calculate this any error more changes. This is actually good. Air. Translation, as long as we st stay down here, we got free oxygen maybe. You can just find the terrain starting to load in, so we go really fast over here. And there's the abandoned salami base. We'll find the abandoned salami and base. And look at that. It looks like there's an avalanche down there. That was really good. <laughs> I th I think it would have been funny if like if like your mom or the the YouTuber's mom started like talking to you and you're like, mom, not right now. Anyway, guy, or and the, or maybe like you were like eating or the pig character was like eating while you were recording or something. I I don't know something. Yeah, no, that's really funny. It's so many. He clips <laughs> so hard he ceases to exist. Yeah. Well, I'm, I can just like. Oh, this is pretty messed up too. Yeah, we can fix it. Let's, look at that. Oh, which oh, way does it, which way does it go? Here. I don't even know. This way. Guys, look! I printed, I printed a low poly impy. It's so cute. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it, it's I, well. Hold on. Okay, here. I need to glue it together, but. It's uh, 1.5 inches. Look at that. It needs, I need some, I need to uh, clean it up a bit, but it shouldn't be like sand. I need to sand the front, but. This face is so cute. What does STL mean? It's uh, FDM, if that, is that the same thing? But yeah, Zelly, I hope you win. This was fantastic. This was really good.
I don't even know what FTM stands for. Oh, STL, like the file. Um, yeah. I took... So Pillowkeeper made a MP STL, yeah, in Blender, and I... And I uh, cleaned it up a bit and exactly. made it low poly, and then... Wait, how big are the actual MPs? You want the file? Yeah, I can... Here, uh, message me on Discord, and I will give it to you. How big are the actual I, the, MPs? The actual MPs are, like, this, oh. this big. They're, they're pretty big. Just keep in mind, like, this one took two hours. And, I mean, you probably know how to slice if you're asking for the STL file, so... <laughs> Never mind. The, no, this is the consolation award. This isn't an award. This will be like a keychain or something, or just Why a little, a little trinket. Top like this? So, I mean, well, it's, it's like it's, perfect on the side. Yeah, the sides. The so bottom. maybe, maybe I should try printing it. So what I did, if anyone cares, um, so instead of printing like, and keep in mind this, this, the logo is actually flipped. Uh, that was by design. But instead of printing it like this, I actually printed it like this, so the overhangs on these little circles wouldn't, well, be messed up. But because I did that, it's a little messed up on the top layer, but I'm pretty sure I can, like, sand it or something. It didn't do the top, like, this wall very well. Um, the underside, it's, it's tough, because it's basically printing... Over nothing. Over nothing, yeah, so I'm not sure... Not sure what to do about the ball, but this is the this is the imp of the impy. Look at this that. Is the block. I already showed the block. What molecule is this? They're medium molecule, but what molecule? Is I don't know, it? Oxygen, water. What is water made of? Um, three hydrogen and one iron. Wow. Yeah. So smart. Totally not. It's H two O. It's oh god, is it two oxygen or one oxygen? It's two hydrogen and one oxygen. Final answer. Wait, no. One hydrogen. <laughs> oh my god, Ryan. One hydrogen and two, because there's two O's. You're asking me what water is it's made of, It's not right? two oxygen. It's H2O. H Wait, I said... Subscript two. I said o. two H's, and you said that was wrong. I didn't say anything. You, you just said, said two oh my, oxygens. You said, oh my god, you're so you stupid. You said two oxygens. I didn't say stupid. No, I said two hydrogen and one oxygen. And you're like, oh my god. So then I flipped it. And then I was also wrong. I was wrong the both fact, ways. The fact that you can't confidently answer the... I was confident. And then no, you told me I was wrong. You are confident in your answer of, mo of I the was. molecular formula for water is... is, is uh, I scary. was. I was. And you... you you freaking said I was wrong, and I second-guessed myself. It's your fault. Okay, let's try another one. What's carbon... What's carbon dioxide? There's one C, and there are two O's. Oh, good job. What's carbon monoxide? There's one C... <laughs> and? And... And one O. Oh, my God. Mono. Where is your confidence that I just that I just destroyed? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, Kel, I have to cute. I have to break him down to build him up. You know, what? you don't build me up. Look at that. Oh, that's really cool. We're still in the breaking down phase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, All right, well. Dream Flicks. Oh my quite god! Cool. Can you make a little scorpion on your three D printer? Yeah. Yeah, I plan on I plan on printing can like a lot of. I need to like model and then slice okay, 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 all okay, of okay. the all the well, RPG like, stuff. If you made your RPG into I've, a board game, that would be the coolest not, thing I mean, ever. I don't know if it's gonna be a board game. What but about like just a little like the, just the little models? Yeah, yeah just like the, a little just a little diorama. That'd be so cute. Um, I want to upvote Dreamflix itself. Oh, okay, I can just do this. Bam. All right, I wish I could see the score here. Let's um. All right, uh, Freakers is saying, what is dihydrogen monoxide? He, he's, he is die two? You gotta know the nomenclature, baby. I don't know, two H's and, no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> one die, one H, one O. What's a, what's a dihydrogen? Two. Two hydrogen, one but it's oxygen. already H. But th what's the difference then? What it's H two O. Oh my God! Wait, it's the same thing. No. <laughs> oh 
Ugh. No, what the hell is this? All right, this? and then Creature Brush says, it's the reason why we know about Japanese ninjas, that they are really bad at being ninjas. What? <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but... Um, <laughs> the, re is the reason why, because they're really bad. I remember I don't know. learning in history class that ninjas were to protect I, some people. That's all I've got. This is a great idea for the score. It's just basically everyone that has a score is a vote. So every score is a vote. And then you do it based on time, so um, there's no repeats. I mean, um, it would be insane if there was. Uh, or tie, rather. Time, there's no, no tie. Seed. Hey, Dragon Olsen, how's it going? Face. All right. So, so I'm trying to fix this bug where if you spam this, it overlaps and everyone's sad. Um, did you know that ice is considered a rock? I don't know if that's true. By who? Yeah. I'm skeptical, Creature Brush. Can you provide some sources, please? Uh, yeah, let, let, me see a, let me see a source you. for that. <laughs> <laughs> is Natalie being your TSP tonight? Tall, super pretty person, right? Oh, now, now he changed it to TTS. Titties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I... So if I licked on ice, I lick a rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Wow, uh, all right. Text to speech, I see. That's my job, Freakers. What, what, is t what does TSP to mean? speech, it was a typo. Yeah, but there were multiple letters wrong. Uh, ice is ice technically a rock? Yes. Rocks are agglomerations of minerals, and minerals are naturally occurring crystals. Since ice is naturally occurring crystalline substance, it is a rock. <laughs> but is it an agglomeration of minerals? I think that's the real question. What's a mineral? <laughs> <laughs> is water a mineral? <laughs> Doesn't that depend on the shape of the ice, though? Dude, I don't think water's a mineral. How do you have mineral water? Water is not a mineral. Wait, mineral water is a brand of water. No, it's vitamin water. Are you dumb? Oh my god! How do you have Wait, minerals you sure? in water if water is a mineral? Mineral or, or the water would be the so, the the solution. Or no, it would be the ice um, isn't a mineral. Therefore, <laughs> ice isn't a rock. Why are we talking about this? Water on extra. If ice is a rock and ice is water, rock is water. <laughs> water rock. Mineral, a solid inorganic substance of natural occurrence. That's true. A solid inorganic oh, no, substance of natural occurrence. Don't don't worry, Eso. E I thought Ace, minerals were rocks. Azut Minecraft. That's how I pronounce your name. What? Ace Oot Minecraft. E suits. I don't think you ever saw my hydrate. Oh, I guess I didn't. Well, there you go. Holy crap. Uh, I didn't see your follow either. What the hell? Point out that his brain cells are slowly dying. Wait, Olsen, are you the one that's like um, six? Feet, that's like over six feet tall. Is Olsen the one that's really there tall? There are multiple people that are tall in, in this chat. Someone said that they were very e tall. E-suits, Minecraft, okay. and okay. Nevergreen. Thanks for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. I'm not getting any of my... I can't hear any of my notifications. Yes. okay, yeah. You're the one You guys can five. hear them. I remember now. Okay, you guys can hear them, but I can't. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, okay, so when we... When we press this, like, rapidly, it messes so up. So if ice is a rock, and ice is water, water is rock, and paper is beating, and paper beating rock is a lie. Yeah, you, you guys are, you guys are overthinking this. This is like a this. lot, a lot for a Sunday night, e suits, guys. Beautiful. It's pronounced e suits. Uh, ace, ace oots? <laughs> a oot. Aso oots. That's uh E suits E suit Minecraft. Stop rocking me. Okay, I need to fix this bug, so wish me luck. Why I guess the first question is like why is it happening? 
Mm. It's it's hard to see. Like I can't go frame by frame, unfortunately. But I think it has something to do with the teleporters. Um. So I've been drinking stones to stay hydrated. My life has been a lie. Okay. Well. <sighs> if you use an ice cube and a rock paper scissors, then <laughs> rock would defeat paper and ruin everything. What is going on, guys? <laughs> Honestly, though, no. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I love how I came in here and completely ruined your stream. You did, Creature Brush. You really did. The stream was ruined. It's gonna be ruined if I don't if I literally don't he get just, anything done today. He he took it, he crumpled it, and he threw it in the trash can. Turned it into a rock. Destroyed in seconds, exactly. I have an impy, you probably don't. You might get one next year, you probably won't. You hear that Acer and I'm talking to you. I can't hear it. It's nice, but it just I, won't do. Why watch him when you can watch me? Either. Only one of us has won an MP. One last thing I'd like to assert. Go to twitch.tv and unfollow why. assert. <laughs> just just click on I'm sorry I'll, just okay. click on I can hear it now I can hear it now I can hear it now just just click just click on twitch great choices Sasha. by the go, way go over there and click the heart and follow him you did it good job I, I mean it I mean it get get over there and do that today today because you realize how many unfollows like, yes, we can get tomorrow if you all not follow like today. No, True. I and damn it! Somehow it ended oh. up across the room. I was so close to being just nice and letting so it. So I don't, I don't really understand. It's impressive. I don't understand what's going on. What like? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try increasing this delay to to point one seconds. And now it just doesn't even work. Ah, what the heck? What, like, what is going on? I need to know if they're getting there at the same time. They're getting there at the exact same time. What? Wait, why is this counter? Oh, frick. I think this is a I think this is an exclusive gate bug. We're like, okay. The the logic runs at 30 frames per second, but this triggers and then this triggers one after the other in the same frame, which is annoying. Um but this is being pulsed. That's what the hell? How are these being added at the same time? Okay, wait, wait, wait. The resort. This resort needs to be pulsed. Resort. Yeah, this isn't being pulsed. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try. Let's try this. I have an idea. Um, and I think it'll work. Although every time I say that, it never works. So. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Wait. <laughs> it worked. Well, okay. It still doesn't work, but at least, at least it kind of works. I like. I'd probably be able to fix this if I knew why it was happening, but I don't, which is frustrating. 
And then when I first start, the whole thing just like cries. Oh, the teleporter is not even going off. All right. Oh yeah, no kidding. Okay, that well, that'll break the entire thing. This uh, this teleporter isn't going off. Maybe maybe we should do that. Pulse the keyframe, but keep the teleporter on. Okay. So we're back to working, but if I double tap it, yeah. Look. If I just spam it, why does it happen? I know why it happens. I know why it happens. This, this teleporter is turning on at the exact moment we're trying to reset. So it's like we need to disable... We need to like disable this logic which isn't actually being disabled it seems this okay i have an idea i have an idea instead of going right into a which triggers the reset the of the of all the all of all the quest items we're gonna go well we're still gonna go into a but we're gonna shift everything down And in here, it is literally just right now, because I just want it to work, I'm gonna make it like 0.3 seconds, which is a relatively long time. So now we reset, just nothing, nothing happens for 0.3 seconds. Then everything disappears, everything gets teleported down there and then it sorts. Let's try this. Are you serious? What? what? Okay, well. What? Why, why, why does that happen? Why, I, I'm using exclusive gates and they are failing me. Or maybe I'm failing them. I <sighs> have I missed any outstanding games on Dreams, dude. You, I, you are not asking the right person. I don't play games on Dreams. Um, I don't know. Lock. Have you played Lock? <laughs> it won the Impies. How's it going, Andy? Why is C the one being pushed to the top as well? So this one's C, this, this one's C, and this one's A, and this one's B. C should not be turning on immediately. <sighs> this doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, uh, maybe we don't have this timer continuously going, but it shouldn't be continuously going. Now B is the issue? And now C is the issue. What is going on? It should be one by one. This is super weird. 
They should be one by one. It's going. Is that good? That, that, that doesn't sound good. Uh, I recently built a 3D printer and I printed, I printed a miniature low poly impy. Look at this. It's pretty cool. It's uh, not connected yet, but you know, it will be. Turned out really well. Solid. Yo, Swarm Hammer with the Prime. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. 22 months. Holy shit. You're, you're almost to two years. I really appreciate it, dude. How was the build? It took me like 13 hours. Like, it was ridiculous. It, it took like... It took like... No, it, but it actually took like 11 hours. Uh, it was it was cool, though. Like, I built, I built the entire thing. <sighs> I built the entire thing. Uh... Like I put, like, nothing was pre-built. It was ridiculous, but um, I I was having issues with uh, making the print stick. But that was that was just a settings thing. The build itself has, from what I can tell, zero issues. So so I built it perfectly, <laughs> which is which is nice. I bought the kit, designed it myself. Oh my god, no, I did not design it myself. I bought the I bought the Prusa i3 Mark mark three kit um and built it friday and saturday and then today today i've just been messing with it and trying to get it like actually working i built the prusa i3 mark 3s plus kit uh 3d printer kit cute mp thank you thank you it's uh it's a b because i am b cert <laughs> No, no. Actually, I it w in hindsight, I probably it probably would have went fine, but I can't stream that. I mean, dude, it it took like eleven to twelve hours. It's not even the right color. Uh, the copper PLA is is being delivered. Hopefully, hopefully by Tuesday. But yeah, and it, I have it set up right next to me. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna start working on modeling some of the RPG like things and see how those print. Um, I really want to get this bug fixed like in the next 10 minutes. So let's see if I can figure this out. They're being they're being added at the exact same time. which doesn't make any sense to me. But they're not being added. Hold on, hold on. They're not being added at the same time. You can tell it's one after the other. It's one after the other. Wait a second, wait a second. Oh, shit. Wait, that actually makes sense why that doesn't work. That actually makes sense. Wait, so I guess my question was, why was it working earlier? This shouldn't work. At least I don't think it should. Sort next is going off. Wait, why isn't this working? <laughs> Wait, this should work. Wait a second. What, okay, what if I did this? Wait. Oh. Well, now they're just all shifted down one. But A and B are still being added at the...
Okay, I'm going to increase this delay as well to 0.3 seconds. This makes absolutely no sense. Maybe this needs to be... Maybe sort next needs to be pulsed. It is being pulsed. Sort next is being pulsed. What is going on? <sighs> we have the priority. Even if they're the same priority, it, it, they shouldn't go at the same time. The, the new audio importer is very nice. Thoughts on the new chicken sandwich from McDonald's? I, I thought, I don't know, McDonald's chicken sandwiches aren't too bad, to be completely honest. Um, in my opinion, at least. I don't know. I haven't had it. I haven't had a chicken sandwich from McDonald's in a very long time, but... This is so weird. I... This is really frustrating. Wait, do you, did you guys just see that? Look at that delay. Wait, why? This is turning on before it's before it's supposed to. And then it... What? Oh, uh, that is not supposed to happen. That's why it's not working. The first one is going into the list before anything even happens. So actually it makes sense. What ha what's happening is making sense, finally. But why is this going off so early? Oh my God. Oh my God. What? Why is this keyframe sorting next? What? This is the resort keyframe. This isn't the sort next keyframe. What the hell? How did that happen? I guess I copy and pasted the switch or something. Here we go, Jesus. <sighs> Can Media Molecule just disable undo and redo while time is playing? Like, I don't know. It... Oh my Lord, okay. All right, now I'm gonna spam it, see what happens. Yo, I think we fixed it. I think we fixed it. Okay. Um, get rid of this garbage. Redo everything we had. We, we actually found the source of the bug instead of... Well, yeah, we found the source of the bug so we can undo all the fixes, quote unquote. Let's do that and then spam it. Okay, it's actually working. Let's Let's move it down to one frame. I said within 10 minutes. I think I think I reached that time frame. Yes! Let's go! That's what I like to see. Okay. Um, so spamming it now doesn't overlap the quests. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now what? Now what? I want to be able to scroll through this list. Um, somehow. Family friendly content with the sub. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. Hey, 14 Issa, months. Very long time, no see. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. And but thank you for the sub, dude. I appreciate it. 
how's how's it going? You haven't eaten McDonald's in a year and a half. That's awesome. Why would we want that? Why would you want to undo while time is playing? Is there any situation where you're playing time and you want to undo? I don't know. Well, maybe maybe it's just me, but I I have a lot of controls where you use the d-pad why are you editing if time is playing if you like to live dangerously all right i'm like watching what i did and i'm like uh uh f that yeah well why but why are you editing while time's playing you want to create something out of time playing but then why are you undoing it's a good way to f up your scene right that's what i'm saying like you need to see paint animation. Well, I'm not saying it. Well, all you have to do is pause time. Then you can undo. Don't touch my life. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of undo. I'm just saying you'd have to pause time for undo to work. It's just so annoying. Like trying to use the D-pad. And it's just like redoing and undoing. All right. Well, okay. Anyway, how, how should we scroll with this? Um... I've already made it so you can select this entire thing, but like hover over it. But what do I do with that? Should should we should you like go into it? Should you press X to enter it basically? That's a little it's a little confusing, isn't it? But I'd like the entire menu to be to be usable just with X and the D-pad. So maybe that is what we do. But it's a little I don't know, like it's it's a little, it's kind of like a lot of button presses, but I mean, if, I mean, what is the, what's the alternative? I guess if you scroll down, you enter the scroll, you enter the list and, but then you'd have to scroll all the way back up just to, just to break out of it. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't even leave room for a scroll bar. Whoops. It is very nice to see the audio importer back. Yeah, <laughs> how long before it's gone again? I think they're just going to like actively ban people from it if they abuse it. You can undo mistakes while the thing is making itself. I mean, just pause. I, my, my point is you can just pause time and then undo, but whatever. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. How, yeah. How do we want to do this guys? How do we want this to work? I, I like the idea that the entire menu is navigatable, navigatable, navigable, navigable by, uh, by just the D pad. Um, no, while, while I'm thinking going down when you're here should bring you to here. The imp drift is real with this one. And going down here. Where'd that go? Wait, did I accidentally turn this off? What the hell? <laughs> I accidentally plugged it in the power, it seems. Like, I don't know. My, my initial thought was you scroll down and you just enter, you immediately enter the list. But then what if you want to go to the bottom of the list and then go back up here? You'd have to scroll all the way back to the top. But you could just hold it. Oh, what am I saying? No, that's fine. That's, you know what? I want that. 
Um, you can just hold the D-pad and it, it'll go really quick is what is what I will try to do. So, okay. So let's think about this now. So you scroll down and maybe this, this one's highlighted. And then if you press down again, it goes down. If you press up, it'll scroll back up until you reach the top of the list. That, that just feels really bad though. Maybe I should introduce, I mean, you're already pressing X, right? So if I also add O to the available buttons to navigate this menu, um, maybe you press X to enter this, this and O to exit it. But that's, that's super confusing. Is that confusing? I could use, yeah, I could use the joystick, so scroll with the joystick if you're hovering over it. That was my initial idea. But. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It is all, yeah, it's all using the D-pad. I could do the joystick. I could do the joystick. I just want it to be a consistent experience, you know? I don't want like random things to require the joystick, but maybe scrolling in this game. Yeah, you know what, I like that. All right, so, so things that need to scroll, you hover over it and then you use the joystick. Okay, okay, I, I'm down with that. So now what? We want to basically select whatever is here. Um, let's get a zone. And we are sensing a quest. We're sensing a quest item. Uh, we have this quest, beautiful. Size is fine. And let's play time and pause. And I just want to see where this tag is located. Center of it. So let's put that right there. So whichever quest is right here is the one that's being selected. And now what? How do I know, how do I know what text to display? Oh, see, this is where it gets interesting. Um, I'd like to build out a system where like, I take a variable's value and the variable will will store how far along you are in the quest and based on that it'll display the quest info um maybe maybe we'll do that later and just right now the quest just needs to know the quest just needs to know if it's being selected And if it's being selected, I feel like all of the quest text should be in the same place. Just to keep it, just to keep it consistent. So maybe we should have some sort of quest ID. And when this is selected, I transmit that ID or in, in an, another way to do it would be 
this. Each quest will have an ID and I'm transmitting that ID and the zone that I placed will be picking up that ID. So we don't want that quest tag. I don't know if it's being used, so I'm gonna just leave it. Um, okay, anyway, instead we're going to transmit. I'm gonna take this, this is gonna be called quest ID. Duh. There we go. Quest pinning would be very nice. I don't know if I can actually do that yet. I, I'm, and I'm not gonna waste my time adding it unless I know we have the thermo. That's like a stretch goal kind of thing. Like I have the ability to implement it. The, the problem is the thermo because pinning your quest would mean you have to have so many, <sighs> cause you can pin any quest, right? So you'll have to have literally every quest text box in in every scene and it'll increase thermal a lot. So we're transmitting the quest ID. Let's receive the quest ID now. Um, quest selected ID. So I guess where the center is which is, I think it's it's gonna be the center of this chip. So it's, I actually want it right here. I think. Um, okay, and hopefully it's obvious, but like each of these quests will have a different quest ID. They don't have to, I guess, but then it would just display the same info. Did I skip seven? Shit. Uh, now we're going to, yeah, we're gonna take the ID and we'll use a selector. Well, let's just set it up correctly. Um, we're gonna use a custom selector, which is just a timeline. And this timeline will hold every quest. And in here is gonna be where each, I, mean, I guess each chip is going to be located. And each of these chips will have all of the text for that quest. Um, right now, it's just going to have like a placeholder. Um, that's good enough for now. It's gonna start on ID one. Let's grab the counter that we need to increase every time we add a new quest. But um, for now, I think it's seven. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's what I want, although I get it wrong every time. So let's see if that lines up. Oh, nope, that's good, I got it. So, oh. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, that's good. So each counter position will turn on a different 
uh, frame in the timeline. And so we're gonna put this into the target or the current count rather. And now let's just copy and paste this for the different quests. We can do this. I don't I don't believe there's gonna be wires coming out of this. Uh, we can actually we can just increase this and then increase this like that. Um, okay, now I want to just rename these really quick. Obviously, this is placeholder, and obviously I will change these as I make quests. Um, I don't even think when I release this game, like as a demo, we're not even going to have seven quests. So, is this C or D? I think it's C. I hope it was D. I should have um, I should have added the font thing before copying and pasting all these, but it shouldn't be too it shouldn't be too annoying to add. We'll do it later though. Um, okay, so this I mean we can't scroll right now, but it should work. Okay, let's get something that's not A. There you go, quest B, quest C. So it works, but we're unable to scroll. <laughs> so, oh, you have a rare case of tired and the only cure is rest. Have a good night, uh, Yisu, I'll see you later. Yeah, this is not 38 days from the start date. This is 38 streams. This is the 38th stream. Are you in a deep gravity well? Is time traveling slower for you? No. No, not quite. I could write stream 38, but that would be kind of weird. How's it going, Entropy? All right. I mean, this is good. Now, how do we scroll? I guess is the is the question now. How do we scroll? <sighs> Let's see. I think I want a timeline. And in this timeline, I'm going to have two keyframes. One, oh my lord. One for the very top position and one for the very bottom position of the scroll. So the top is going to be here. Yeah, look, look at that, look at that grid. Look at that grid, it's perfect. So where is the bottom? I wanna line up the bottom tag with the top tag, if that makes sense. So the top tag is right there. The bottom tag is now right there. And now, um, we should be able to scroll through this. Do I want to scroll smoothly? No, I want to scroll on like intervals. Um, how do I do that? Basically, I count how many tags. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't need to do that. I have 14 tags. Actually, I might have 13 tags. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But uh, we take this counter and wait, is that what I want to do? I'm actually not sure if this is what I want to do, but we'll, we'll do it for now. I think decrease it by one will get me there. What on earth? <laughs> I am going to scream. These, these tags were not connected. I think they are now. Excuse me, what? What is going on? My lord. Holy moly. Okay, now can we scroll? So, 
No, this isn't. It's slightly moving. If Here, I'll line it up with the microchip and you'll see. Let's line up the top. I think it's. Uh, how do I, how can I line this up? Yeah, see how it got lower? See how the top is getting lower? So that's, it's not the right number. What about that? It's even worse. Holy moly. There you go. So, so now, now we're actually like in sync. Um, okay. Now, how do I scroll? Like I'm using a counter here. Is that what I want? I guess. Uh, we can make it smooth by by putting an exclude. Wow, by putting a signal manipulator between here. So now every time the value changes, we can smooth it. Um, and if we play, and then I'll show you. See. So it still locks in the place, but it's smooth. Oh no. Please, why is that happening? Don't tell me. It's teleport, why are they all? Oh wait, now it's working. Oh, wait, what is going on? What is going on right now? This is working. What if I go too high? What? I don't understand. Wait, what was going on? If I go too fast. I'm not sure if that's going to be an issue though. I guess we'll find out. Um, okay, now all we have to do is grab our controls, uh, specifically the joystick, and, oh, how do I want to do this? I want the left local. I do not want it based on the camera at all. Oh, I already have something here. Inventory rotate. Okay, well let's let's repurpose that a little bit. To scroll. And we are going to grab the up and down instead. And we're gonna name this. Oh, I gotta go down, like way down. We're gonna name this scroll. Hydrate, Jew, uh, Jew24 Moby. I don't think it's pronounced Jew. <laughs> How do I pronounce your name? Snort the water. Oh man. Well, I need to fill up my bottle, so I'll be right back. All right, I am back with the hydrate. The, this joystick thing is killing you, why? Okay. Uh, we have scroll, scroll. So let's get that value now. And somehow, okay, somehow we need to translate that into, into scrolling. Um, so let's try to figure that out. We want to get control scroll. Gonna play some stationers, might die, hell yeah. How many things like the quest uh, scroll depending on editing keyframes if the number changes? Yeah. Probably the crafting list as well. I mean, it's, it's just like every quest I add, I have to bump. 
Oh, I see what you mean. So within this system, how many things am I going to have to change? Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to change this counter. Well, no, actually this counter is how many tags and this scrolling thing is how many tags, how many quests. Um, I don't think I have to change anything. I just add the I just add the quest. So really it's it's depending on how many spots I have, right? So what I could do is just add like 30 slots or spots or whatever I'm calling them and then just never do it again. Because I'm going to make it so you can't scroll if there's no more quests. Um Okay. Okay, so we're going to get yeah, filter show complete. No, we want control scroll. We're getting that value. If it's positive, if this value is, and I'm gonna make this more complex, I think, but if the value is positive, count down actually. And if the value is negative, count up. That should work. Now it'll work anywhere. Yeah, look at that. Wait, I've, which direction do I actually? Nope, I, I'm scrolling the wrong way. <laughs> I reversed it. I should always just take what I think it's going to be and then reverse it. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're scrolling. This is nice. Obviously, we can scroll way too far and holding it does nothing. So what happens if we hold it? Uh, what, what do we want to happen? Well, let's add a cooldown timer to both of these. Let's make a chip really quick to do this. All we need is, we'll do two nodes, but we really only need one node. I didn't mean to do that. And then this will power the reset. Um, and maybe a cooldown of 0.1 seconds. So every 0.1 seconds, the signal will be let through, right? Doing logic with the grid on is like really stressful. Okay, so now if I hold it, yeah, look at that. It uh, it scrolls, but it's a little um, it's a little finicky. So maybe instead of greater than zero, we do greater than point one, and then less the negative point one. Let's try that. Yeah, it's a little less, oh, it's still finicky. Um, let's put a slider down, name it sensitivity, scroll sensitivity. I don't know how to spell sensitivity, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Maybe it's like sensitivity, sure. Uh, and we're gonna take this number and multiply it by one and by negative one. Ah, of course. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't look quite right. It looked better than E, but sensitivity. That's a lot of eyes. Okay, so the, uh, this one's being multiplied by negative one. This one's being multiplied by one. So whatever you put this, let's do it at 0.5. So now the joystick will have to be past 0.5 before it before it starts scrolling. That uh, let's do 0.35. See, but it, it's a, it's a lot nicer to like adjust this now. Let's try 0.3. It's close. Let's try 0.4. Yeah, 0.4 is uh, the right amount of sensitivity in my opinion. Okay. Uh, do we make it so we only scroll if we're hovering over it? I say yes. So let's see. How do we know we're hovering over it? If this is on, we enable scrolling. How do we enable scrolling? It would be this. Uh, 
Uh, th this being on means the cursor is hovered over it. And and this is for the, the entire thing. So I can't scroll. I scroll down. Now I can't scroll. Perfect. Um, oh, and we, we I, I never personally checked if... Yeah, look, look, the text is changing. See? That's cool. Let's visually indicate which one is selected. Um, let's pass a signal through here. Maybe a switch. Just a signal of one. Actually, that's kind of confusing. Let's, because a switch implies that the value matters where it doesn't matter. We just need a positive signal, right? So let's use a knock gate. And now we'll receive the signal out of here and we'll do something with it. Uh, what are we going to do? We're, we're going to make it so the quest row is highlighted, basically. Yeah, are you going to have a bunch of work to add quest uh, or other, other list items later? Mm, it's The work comes from adding each slot, right? So if I add a bunch at first. So yeah, I already said that though. A bunch of just do it once exactly 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 all right uh we get a signal out of here that means this quest row is selected um what does that look like i'm thinking just outline it in white basically that's not what i want there we go and thicker yes beautiful and last but not least we can fast power down but relatively slow power up okay let's try it okay so that's a little too thick Ooh. i think we need the same power up as power down Actually, it should be fast power up and slow power down. I think. Yeah, I kind of have it reversed, don't I? Okay. And it was a little too thick. That's looking better. Maybe it should just be fast power up and fast power down oh it, it kind of looks nice okay um now how do we so that obviously scrolling at the top is fine but how do we stop the scroll at the bottom basically if nothing is here so okay we need to what is this chip this is move this see this is moving so we can't put any zones in here um right yeah th this ch this chip is moving so we need to put a zone i don't know somewhere we could just put it in the scene but is that confusing i, I don't know let's just put it in the scene i guess uh we need to check if there are no more quests and if there are any more quests, stop the scrolling. Down, stop the scrolling in one direction. Um, so let's let's put a zone here. We want this to be a rectangular zone. Hopefully it's obvious why. And we're sensing quest. Okay. Um, this is where we're selected. So if there are if there's no more quests to scroll through. Where is the quest tag located in this chip? Oh, it's actually below it. Okay. So that's so what we have is good. Um maybe 
fair. Um, so if this zone does not sense so, uh, any more any more quest tags, then we can't scroll. So this is this is basically can scroll. If this if this is on, if this node is on, that means you can scroll. So if it's off, that means you can't scroll. So basically, you can only scroll down. Scrolling down is the counter increasing. You can only scroll down if you can scroll. You can always scroll up because well, up is up is already capped with the with the counter. Now, alternatively, we could hard cap it with the counter. But then we'd have to change this every time we had a quest. Is that that big of a deal? I don't think so. So maybe I could actually have like a, a quest amount slider here, which will update the which will update the counters by themselves by itself. That would be that would be kind of nice actually. Um, but let's try this. This is kind of a foolproof method. Like it's it's. How do I, how do I put it? It's not hard coding. It's like, it's naive. Like it's, I, I'm literally checking if, if a quest is available as opposed to just counting how many quests there are. And then, I don't know. Let's, let's see. What's, it's not the best way to do it. I guess is what I'm, it's what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's try it. Let's see if it works though. Yeah. So it definitely works. I mean, if it works. It's just, it has a, it has a chance to not work. I kinda don't like that. But then how, oh, but, but since I'm doing this, I guess I can't do it the counter way because how, like, how do I time this properly? No, no, you know what? No, this is good. This works really well. Um, is this every point one seconds? Let's make it scroll faster. That's not faster. Let's do point zero six six and see how it feels. It feels good, but I want an initial delay before it starts scrolling. Uh, how do we do that? It's pretty easy. So basically, um, we're gonna get the input and we only allow the the looping, the, the, the auto scrolling, if the input has been held for a certain amount of time. What is that amount of time? 0.2 seconds maybe? Oh, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. <sighs> Crap. Because this timer, this timer goes and then the signal is allowed through, right? The initial signal should be allowed through. Oh man. Hmm. Like I know there's more complicated ways to do it, but I'm trying to do it in a simple way at first. Maybe we just figure out the more complicated way first. Um, uh, so what would that be? What would that be? I mean, we could just make this, we could just make the target time 0.2. And then if we've held this 4.2 seconds, uh, 
Make the tart. Wow, this is a pretty simple way. Right, let's make it even simpler. Let's just let's just use the slow power up. So now it'll gradually increase. This is interesting. Wait, this is really intuitive. Shit. Well, it didn't work, but I wonder why it didn't work. This is really annoying to test. What? Uh -oh. Let's test the other one since let's test this one. Did I keyframe this correctly? Uh, um, okay, it's, it wasn't, oh, shit. Okay, it, it didn't, it didn't change. I mean, it's possible I didn't keyframe it correctly. Let's let's try this. Hey, okay, I just didn't keyframe it correctly. You can actually like feel the acceleration. So, I mean, we can go even crazier with it, right? Okay. Not sure what's going on with the keyframes. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh no. Okay, maybe one frame is a little too fast. Just maybe. That's okay. That's okay. But why? Why is one frame too fast? You know what? I, I, it's fine. It's fine. Two frames is good. Two frames is good. I think this has something to do with the D-pad. Um. Huh. Oh, or maybe it's... Counting up and counting down at the same time. What the hell is going on? It can't be greater than 0.4 and less than negative 0.4 at the same time, though. Does it have something to do with the timer? This... Hmm. What the hell is going on? This is so hard to test. I just want to see. Oh my God. Why is this so annoying? Okay. Um, maybe we don't do that. Thank you. 
let's try let's not use the power up oh my god this is so annoying There are, like, I don't want to overcomplicate this. There are so many ways, like, I can do this, but I, I just don't, I just don't want to deal with it. Let's just try this, and it just sets it right to 0 0.066 um, after, after 0.2 seconds. So the default is 0.2 seconds. Okay, let's, let's try this. Okay, that's, yeah, you get the one, you get the one, and then it, then it starts. So, that's exactly what I wanted. And let's add a bypass for this in case you're faster. Uh, this will this will just bypass it. So if you go fast, you can just keep doing it manually, but you can't hold it because that's a pulse, obviously. All right. Um, right. What the hell is going on? I literally just changed the point two, and now it just broke the entire thing. I, I guess point two seconds is literally just too fast. What if I go to point four? All right, it looks like 0.4 is better for the teleporters. I, I I don't know why the teleporters weren't sticking to it better, but this is... All right, this is a lot better. Um, you can go fast, but you can also be precise with it. Okay, now we want to make the ones above this line disappear. How do we do that? We want to, let's edit the source. Um, and I mean, basically we want to give it a signal and just tell it to be visible if, it, if it's in the viewable area. Could put the zone in chip, scene wide, count the tags and compare to your counter. Is this for when did you when did you send that? <laughs> Sorry. I need to turn on. Somehow my uh my freaking timestamps for the messages got turned off. There you go. Timestamps. Okay. Okay, you sent that 10 minutes ago, so <laughs> we've already solved that issue. Sorry for not reading chat more uh actively, but it is what it is, so. All right, we need to know if it should be visible. in viewable area if this if if this is on that means it should be visible otherwise it should be invisible um in viewable area in viewable area let's i mean i'm pretty sure it's just this that's not what i meant 
You know what? Let's just let's just do that. I wonder if there's something we can do with the layers, though. I, I don't know. Let's just try this before we do anything else. Although there might be a way. Ooh, they're they're actually. I think there's a pretty cool way I can like cover cover these quests up without having to deal with like the visibility of them. But let's just try this. Yeah, that was for stopping scroll. Right, right. Versus the insane zone, right. Put the zone in the chip. Scene wide. Count the tags and compare to your counter. Oh, that's smart. I Yeah, you'd compare it to the counter. You'd count how many... Well, wait. You, you count how many tags... You, you, so you count how many quest tags and then stop the counter at that that quest tag amount. That's very that's really smart. I like that a lot. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. It it would add more gadgets and wires. So I'm just gonna leave it how it is because this is like ridiculously simple, but that's a really good idea. Uh, okay, let's update. And now how do we give it that signal? I mean, again, it's another in-scene zone. Uh, this one we're looking for quest in viewable area or something. Yeah. And what is that viewable area? I mean, let's just do this for now. It doesn't really have to be exact. Okay, I mean, it has to be more exact than that. There we go. There we go. I mean, it's, it's not perfect. I say, okay, look, we have 16 minutes left. I say I invest some time into the other method, which is basically co like covering it. Or actually, we still use this method. We still use this method, but to get rid of the... So, so basically what, what we would do is this, ready? Um, we would show them much higher up and we'd use we'd use this gray area and cover up the quests, the quest names. Let's try it. Um, these hopefully are display on top. And if they're not, well, we're going to make them. Okay, always on top. Wait, oh, ooh, my bad. The border is, I forgot the border was also, like it, it was a separate thing. All right, and let's just make sure we didn't break anything. Good. Okay, uh, now these should not be always on top. Watch them be always on top. That would actually be really annoying. Good, okay, they're not. And the idea is to just put an always on top gray thing over here, but I'm now realizing wouldn't, no, no, sorry, not always on top. The idea now is to put a not always on top gray text box covering this. Um, it'd be nice if this worked. And because of how we're going to set it up, you, you won't even know it's there, right? It'll blend in with uh, the background. See? Oh. Yeah. You, you, you shouldn't be able to tell. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to tell it's there.
Wait. I have no idea if it's gonna work. <laughs> okay. Um, so where do I have to put this thing? Okay, come on, what's... What? Hey, there we go. Okay. Okay. Obviously, the black line also needs to be covered, but I'm liking it. Make it till you make it. You can see the line of it, unfortunately. And we need to make it lower. That's perfect, actually. Okay, now we just need to make sure these things go under the black quest bar thing. Um, one way to do that... Well, there's two, there's two things we could do. We could... <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> um, we can make another text box. What? Well, well, no, I mean, that's that's what we need to do. Yeah, I mean, okay. So, where is this one located? I think it's here. Yeah, we let's so let's just copy and paste this. Let's unkeyframe it. And, oh, wait. No, no, we want to keep the keyframe. Uh, but the difference is we don't want a background. And we want it show on top. Uh, and now, just so this makes a little more sense, I guess, get rid of that, get rid of that border. So we've separated the border. Okay, uh, we've separated the border and the background. I'm just gonna mistype everything, aren't I? Holy crap. Okay, let's see if it works. Did not wanna name the text background. I wanted to name the actual thing background. Hey, Peace, what's up? Yeah, Booter. Booter. <laughs> the Booter. Okay. And look at that. We have a scrolling list. Look at that. And it properly goes away. That is, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Hey, Duck. No idea what I'm doing, what you're doing, but I'm sure it's going well. You said that two minutes ago. It is going well. It is going well. Uh, we have finished our scrolling text list, scrolling quest list, which is also, uh, yeah, you can't scroll. So you still are selected though. Oh crap. Wait. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Zant2304. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. We're not out of the woods yet though. Unfortunately. Hmm. What if, what if you had to like select the scroll bar? Ah, that's weird. But okay, now the issue is when you're scrolled, you can actually see it here. But I think we can fix that. I think we can fix that um, by just lowering this. Uh, 
Where is this? Keep going. Okay, that's too far. That's that's probably not far enough. Oh. Oh no, yeah, it still needs to go up. Wait, I can't. Yeah, that's too that's too low. That's too low. Oh, I think that's perfect. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Look at that. Nice. That's that's really nice. Um now, how do we tell the player that you can scroll with the left joystick? I'm thinking we put it here. I mean, it would be easier to put it here. Let's just put it there. And it's more central, so the player won't miss it as, easy, as easily. So I want a message here, if we're selected, by the way, and, and I uh, I don't know if I want a scroll bar. I, uh, a little extra. Um, how do I know we're here? It's this. I want a message. Let's do, let's just grab this one, I guess. Um, that only, yep, it only turns on if the cursor's over this. And it's basically, this should be its own chip because I need multiple text gadgets. And let's see. Let's... I'm probably going to have to make that bigger. Uh, we want, first we want left. No, no, no. no. L. And how big do we want it? Where do we want it? It's decent. Okay. Um, what else? How, how do we do the arrows? I guess, I guess it would be arrows. Maybe. UI arrow N. Oh, hell yeah. Look at me. Wow. Look at me. I've only played dreams for like two years and I actually, I actually got it right. I wonder how it would sound with basic sound effects. Hey, it's going to be, it's going to be clean. I could rotate this, but it's easier just to do this. Okay, cool. I mean, okay, so I could just let you always scroll it instead of having to deliberately like scroll down to it. Um, man, this is a tough UI problem. It, like the easiest way would just just to make it, just to let the player like D-pad into it, and then the D-pad would scroll. But then to get out, you'd have to D-pad up, which is not good. So this way, you D-pad into it, and then you scroll with the L with the left stick. 
but we could just make it so you could always scroll. I think that's the most intuitive. Yeah, that's the most intuitive. All right, we're gonna make it so you always scroll. I have decided. I do declare. All right, so we can always scroll. Yeah, that's that's way more intuitive. Um, now let's just make it so you can't d-pad into it anymore. So we just delete this. Well, now it's not a spot, so let's just get rid of all of that. Uh, the cursor can never be there because again, it's not a spot. This does simplify things, doesn't it? I just wanted to avoid something like this because uh, it's fine. I, I want I want to keep the experience like unified. I want you to navigate the menu with the D-pad and bypassing the navigation by just making the left joystick scroll is kind of against what I'm trying to do, but I, I, I don't know what, like, aside from just going, going for the imp, I, I don't, I don't know what to do. So this is good. I, I like this. This is, this is good. It's a little hard to see where the cursor is just a little bit, but. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's, that's, that's a bug. Uh, okay. Let's. Let's fix that. Okay. Oh man, I, I really messed up. <laughs> I copy and pasted the wrong text displayer. It's okay. I think now all the text is black, which is fine. Okay. This is nice. I, I like this. I like this a lot. Let's fix the padding, or is this padding or margin? I, I don't know. I think it's margin um, of this. Oh crap! Now there's a background and a. All right. Well. well, now which which one did I do? looks exactly the same. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, now I can't unsee it. <laughs> Looking good. All right. Are these tiny baby microchips or just the biggest in-world text displayers I've ever seen? <laughs> Wait, what? FileMaker? Tiny baby microchips. What does that mean? Or the biggest in-world text displayers. These are microchips, right? Wait, I'm not sure what you mean. That's funny, though. There's some different looking arrows in the Unicode. Interesting. 
I don't know. I mean, I'm good with this for now. Um, but I do want to probably should put this this microchip in scene so I can move them all at once. But it doesn't matter. Did I not select? All right, this is looking really good. Um, now we want it to disappear when, we want it to disappear and turn off when we go over skills or world map and like select it. How do we do that? You're going to bed? All right, maybe we do that next time. Yeah, let's do that next time. You fell asleep on the couch? Oh my God. Sounds like it. Even you got it. 10 extra time. I know, I know. All right. This is looking really good though. Let's let's save it. Great progress today. We fixed the bugs. We added scrolling. It works flawlessly, hopefully. Um yeah, this is really this is good. The quests are done. The quests are done for now. Um, on to, oh man, I don't even know. On to crafting, maybe. Oh Jesus. Or maybe, maybe we should, maybe we should start designing the actual quest and yeah, you know, yeah, let's make a quest. I think, I think, uh, I think Tuesday we'll make a quest. That sounds good. Cause Pixel Gorilla keeps complaining there's no game. So we'll, uh. We'll give him a game. Not really. <laughs> Still won't be a game. One quest doesn't make a game. It's the entire thing all together. Let's try it. So we actually e we exited the game in the console. That's interesting. All right, I'm getting into bed. There we go. Look at this. Oh. Oh, okay, there's one thing we forgot. Scrolling should reset. This is a really easy thing to fix. Um, every time, yeah, this is extremely easy. Every time we go to A, when, which means we reset the filter, scro scrolling should also reset. So we, we need to keyframe the, the current count. What does this keyframe do? Oh my God. So we're keyframing the current count to zero and we're pulsing that keyframe and we're setting it to keep changes. Okay, now every time the filter changes, scroll resets. Before scrolling was just, it stayed where it was. Now scrolling should reset. There you go. Beautiful. What happens when we scroll while it's being filtered? Still works. Still works pretty well. Okay, um, that was an easy fix. Let's save it once and for all. Yeah, that, that was a small little oversight. Because if you're filtering the list and the list gets smaller, but you're scrolled all the way to the bottom, you'll you'll end up being scrolled at something that doesn't exist. 
the, the list will just be empty, as you saw. All right. It's playable. Now it's bedtime, exactly. Who are we gonna raid? Who are we gonna raid? Let's try to find someone. Zelly, you can stream. Yada, I think we're gonna raid Yada. <laughs> so, I, Zelly, I honestly, I probably would have raided you if if you were streaming. It's too late now, though. This is an ad. This isn't Yada. This isn't Yada. You just started stream. Now you're too late, Zelly. <laughs> Good try, though. Oh man. Again, great job with your with your dream flicks entry. That was really cool. All right. Oh, she's working on uh, the the gift shop. Is this the same one? I don't know. Oh wow, she's been going for five hours. Holy moly! All right. Well, guys, I'll see you Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed the stream. We got a ton done. We made a lot of progress. And yeah, have a great rest of your night. I'll see you guys later.